spring breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. 
audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Are we live? Just gone live. Just gone live. Thank you. Well, welcome everybody to our meeting. And we have just one apology from Councillor Sowell, who'll be late, but he will be in sometime this afternoon. Hopefully not in too, too many minutes. Declaration of interest. Any declaration of interest? May, can I please declare an interest in 9.1? Yes, Councillor Finlay for 9.1. Any other declaration of interest? Somebody confirm the minutes of the previous meeting held the 23rd of July. Councillor Spencer moved. Seconded. Seconded. Councillor Cox. Thank you. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 Any against? That is carried. No deputations and no petitions, no community reports. In public question time, we have um, public questions on notice that are there. Then we have other questions without notice. And um, Kelsey, I think, is going to read those out for us. So the first, um, Mr Ray Norman has submitted three questions. The first question, given that the Mayor is promoting the assertion that Council applied for drought relief funding in good faith and that the application was and is in an unoperational matter and thus a matter determined away from the involvement of councillors, will whoever is currently responsible for the matter and who has the authority to act provide each and every councillor with a copy of the application made to the government along with a copy of all guidelines provided to all applicants in order that the council, councillors can firstly satisfy themselves that the application was indeed made in good faith and based upon the appropriate evidence in order that they individually and collectively can assure 
their constituency that the money coming to the city meets all the appropriate criteria plus meets all appropriate ethical and moral standards despite the Bureau of Meteorology's published map indicating that not only wasn't the municipality drought affected, neither was anywhere else in Tasmania. Thank you. The answer is the application to the Building Better Regions Fund was lodged in December 2019 and the data provided by the Bureau of Meteorology demonstrates that the City of Launceston had experienced a rainfall deficiency in the 20 months between 1st of April 2018 to the 30th of November 2019. Please refer to the Council's website for a more detailed response on this matter. Staff are currently working through the elements of the funding offer with the councillors and have previously provided all of the better building better regions eligibility requirements. Thank you. The second question from Mr Norman. Given the increasing indications that the city's cultural survey is excluding or at the very least not being proactive in engaging with the community's social science, natural science and physical science networks, educators and other cultural and environmental activists and apparently doing so towards developing a platform for somewhat smooth over storytelling and an administrative convenient process with anticipated outcomes despite the city's regional clear and evident histories of cultural genocide, social dislocations, environmental degradation, etc. Will the council now move proactively to enable the people council conscripts its cultural funding from ratepayers, residents, funding agencies, donors, etc., to initiate and conduct their own investigation via a citizen assembly, albeit a process aided by a council funding allocation? Uh, thank you. The question, this question has been previously addressed by council and the answer is still no. Question three for Mr Norman. Against the claim assertion that it is not feasible for the City of Launceston's Council to reimagine and police its waste management centre as a resource recovery centre and by doing so proactively divert compostable cellulose material, masonry material, plate glass, scrap metal and other identified resources away from landfill while at it at the same time feasible for council to proactively police parking and raise revenue, police health inspections to public to protect public health, police building standards to maintain appropriate standards, police community events to ensure public safety and likewise, where local government in other jurisdictions can and are achieving such an outcome while delivering better and sustainable outcomes. Will the city's councillors reconsider this unsustainable assertion in the light of current community standards and aspirations? And the answer is the question has been previously addressed by council and the answer is still no. Any further questions? No, no. ma'am. Thank you. So under the provisions of the Land Use Planning and Approvals Act 1993, Council acts as a planning authority in regard to items included in Agenda Item 9, Planning Authority, which is 9.1. We have some statements to be read out for 9.1. Um, thank you, Mayor. The first statement is from Marcus Kitto of Launceston. Sunlight and rain. The building in the proposal is high enough to obstruct the morning sunlight from the east, casting a shadow over my dwelling situated at Unit 263 Frederick Street, Launceston, making my house very cold, especially during winter times. It is already very cold during the winter months due to my building losing sunlight early in the afternoons from the house situated at 65 Frederick Street, blocking the afternoon winter sun due to its height. When it rains, my property would take longer to dry out, causing damp for longer periods, which could cause constant long-term damage to my property. Property value loss. The proposed building could have the potential to reduce the intrinsic and future pecuniary value of my property because of privacy, <clears throat> sorry, privacy concerns with the proposal's windows facing my property in combination with significantly reduced sunlight, increased cold and damp conditions during winter. Car noise pollution. 
If there is to be an increase in vehicle traffic in and out of the proposed property, the noise levels could potentially increase. My property already has vehicles constantly entering and exiting the right of way from 63 Frederick Street during the day and sometimes evenings due to the Launceston pathology having a staff car park situated at the end of the driveway, which contains around eight or more cars per day. It would be difficult to tolerate even the slightest increase in traffic in the area. In summary, I am deeply concerned about this proposed property and its potential to do significant damage to my property and my and future owners' general well-being with regard to reduced sunlight, increased traffic noise, cold temperatures and dampness. The above concerns are my submission to you and the Launceston City Council on the basis that I wish the proposal to be rejected. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the second uh, statement is from Kerry Haywood and Louise Haywood. Safety concerns. The right of way at 68 Margaret Street was never intended to carry large numbers of traffic movements. This development will increase the number, this number by 40% and if you add the visitors to the two rental properties and to the applicant's home business, this could increase to 60%. If you then add in that the pedestrian access to this development is also going to be via the right of way. This has, is a safety issue and an accident waiting to happen. Also, I cannot see how the cars leaving the garage of this development can turn around to exit forward if the fence needs to be built on the boundary. The area surrounding this application has an extremely high number of heritage listed properties and together with the high number of period homes makes this area an incredibly unique area of Launceston. Over the last five years, more than 12 properties have been restored back to their original period and there are uh, another five being renovated. A number of these properties can be seen from Margaret Street all the way up West Launceston and if this development is allowed to go ahead, there is going to be a two-storey dark box sitting on the lands landscape completely out of character with the area. Incremental developments that are not scrutinised is what changes the fabric of an area and this does not meet the fundamentals of the planning scheme in adding to the character of the area all this to house extra sorry all this to house to extra people the council's own report clearly indicate that this development does not meet the performance criteria as set out by planning and that in itself plus safety concerns and representation from neighbors is why this development should not be passed in this format thank you Yep, thank you. The next statement is from Glenda Marla of Launceston. Further to my objection, dated 28 June 2020, I wish to emphasise that if the proposal is passed, all I will see from the rear of my property in Margaret Street will be a 6.36 metre, 20 feet, 10 inches high, unsightly black colour bond structure with windows and a deck facing my home. As 59 to 61 Frederick Street is on a hill, the proposed structure will be even higher. As a result, there will be no privacy for me or any of the occupants of 64 to 72 Margaret Street. The structure will block my light and view of West Launceston and it will be incompatible with the other old brick homes in the immediate area. Furthermore, if the proposal is passed, the narrow right-of-way access with its increase in vehicle and foot traffic owing to the owner's business from the additional dwelling and proposed rental accommodation of their present home will cause difficulties for all the occupants of 64 to 72 Margaret Street, as there has been no regard in the plan for a turning circle for our vehicles. If we cannot turn around in the right-of-way, we will have to reverse into busy Frederick Street. Therefore, I implore you to dismiss this proposed construction. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and the, the next statement's from Les Pen Penzes. We wish to address four representations made to our proposal from 11 neighbouring properties. Our property is to extend our existing garage with a future resident Sorry, our proposal to extend our existing garage with a future residence was noted in our 2007 building permit for, for the garage, BA425-2007, which also shows the two metre right of way we offered over our property. Adding extra widths to the original right of way for the benefit of all users, as per our title P.152142, um, dated the 22nd of August 2007. 
We have endeavoured to comply with the current planning scheme. The design of our proposal was carefully considered to minimise impacts of both overviewing and overshadowing on our adjoining properties from, the two, from our two-storey dwelling, whilst providing a compact but comfortable inner city residence. It is a snug fit due to an existing TAS water sewage and stormwater drain dividing the rear of the property. The building form and height complements the neighbouring buildings with a gabled roof. The roof pitch takes into account solar gain 31 degrees solar panels and winter shade 24 degrees winter solstice. Refer to section A on drawing um, 1119-03A. Note, the south wall is only five metres above ground. We are planning for a highly sustainable home. The cladding proposed is to complement the existing garage with zinc and black colour wand to the east, west and south elevations with painted cement sheeting to match the existing garage door, red earth colours. We are flexible regarding both the east and west elevations, noting dark colours recede. The existing architect's home office in the front of 61 Frederick Street will be relocated to a room on the ground floor of the proposed new residence and Les Penzer's architect services will be reduced with most meetings conducted off the premises. We do not expect that any additional traffic to be generated by home office onto the right of way. We're disappointed in the unfounded allegations made in writing by some representatives and that they are available to the public. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And that's all the statements to be read. So we have 9.1. Is somebody happy to move a motion? Very happy to, move it. happy to move it, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie. Is there a seconder? Councillor I'll Spencer. second that if you like. Oh, Councillor oh. Spencer, just beat yeah. you with his hand up. So yeah. Councillor McKenzie, do you wish to speak to it? Oh, briefly, Mayor. Look, I, I think that uh, reading through the application made um, and the officer's report uh, clearly goes through the matters raised by the representors. Um, certainly on on-site uh, investigation this morning uh, showed that the property can suitably fit on the uh, location that has been uh, put forward by the proponent. Um, yes, there will be some amenity loss, but that is minor, I think, in the scheme of uh, things. I appreciate that if I lived next door, maybe I wouldn't see it that way. Uh, but, you know, really, it, it's a matter of sunlight is probably the biggest issue. And that is only a small amount of sunlight that's lost during the course of any given day. Uh, and more particularly in the winter months, uh, certainly the neighbour to the uh, south uh, would certainly lose some, uh, some sunlight on his vegetable patch. Uh, in the winter, uh, but during the summer months, certainly uh, it's certainly going to be in full production av availability. And the neighbour to the west, uh, I believe, would have some loss of sunlight for a couple of hours during the winter months, uh, which might impact, but not significantly so. And certainly within the planning scheme, uh, that sort of amenity loss is contemplated. Uh, as a consequence of that, I see this uh, as a development application that we should approve today. Thank you, Councillor Spencer. Thanks, Mayor. Um, just want to ask one of the officers, uh, in one of them opponents um, request there, mentioned that you yeah, can't uh, reverse and drive out. I just want to get a comment off Catherine on one of those. Thank you. Catherine? Oh. Hello? Leanne? Hello? Yes. Um, we refer Richard. to the application drawing um which shows the turning circle proposed um so there is a diagram in the application document showing some of the turning movements um i'm not sure which turning movement particularly people are concerned with but the cars proposed for this dwelling can certainly turn within the property in the right of way thank you All right thank you do you wish to speak, Councillor Spencer? No, nah, no. Nah. If, if, uh, if they can re reverse out and drive out straight forward, I'd be quite happy with that. I don't think Thank you want to reverse onto the street in that street. Yep. Any other speakers? Very silent. Councillor McKenzie, you wish to close? I think I've said it all, Mayor. Thank you. I'll put the motion. All those in favour, say aye. 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 
Any against? So that is carried unanimously by all. Thank you very much. We move now on to, well, we no longer sit as a planning authority. We go on to councillor reports. Any councillor reports? No? We'll move on to questions from councillors. None of those either. We'll move on. The questions on notice are there as well. So questions without notice, any of those? Just in case somebody's still thinking. No. We'll go on to committee reports. Municipal Emergency Management Committee. Somebody happy to move that? Yeah, happy to move. Councillor Cox, thank happy you. To second Mayor. Deputy Mayor. Do you wish to speak to it, yes. Councillor Cox? No, it's all self-explanatory, Mayor. Thank you. Count Deputy Mayor? No, thank you, Mayor. Any other councillor wish to speak or have a question? I'll put the motion. Those in favour, say aye. 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 Any against, say no. So the ayes have it. That is carried by all. 13.2 is Tender Review Committee. Is there a mover? Yes, yeah, so I moved. Councillor Cox. Is there a seconder? Councillor Spencer. Councillor Cox, you wish to speak to it? No, again, self-explanatory, Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Spencer. Same as Jim, thank you. Oh, well done. Any other councillors wish to speak? I'll put the motion. Those in favour, please say aye. 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 Any against, please say no. No one against, so that's all carried by all councillors. We move on to 14.1, councillor workshop report. Somebody happy to move that? Happy to move. Councillor Harris? Yep. Is there a seconder? Oh, councillor Dawkins. Is that for seconding or speaking? Oh, it's gone. <sighs> Hand up. Is there a seconder? Happy to second, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie? Do you wish to speak to it, Councillor Harris? No, it says it all, really. Councillor McKenzie? No, Mayor. Any Councillor Dawkins? Thank you. Sorry, I was having difficulty with my cursor and my I'm mute. Um, yeah, it was uh, a very interesting day's um, presentations. The 10 days on the island crew was fantastic to hear from them. Obviously, 10 days has had to change many times over the years and really interested to see what it can pull off for its anniversary. Um, the placemaking team, I think we're all very excited um, and waiting with bated breath to see what this clearly very accomplished group of people can bring to the City of Launceston. And also, obviously, the, the greenhouse gas audit. Um, the, we, we are going to have to have many future discussions around our waste transfer station on account of, really, the responsibility that lies with the City of Launceston, considering the amount of municipalities who use our waste transfer station. So, all in all, a really interesting and varied day's workshops. Thank you. Any other speakers? No. Oh, no, it's Councillor Dawkins. If you could put your hand down, it would be lovely. Now, thank you. So, Councillor... Oh, who moved that? Councillor... Where are we? No, I have nothing more to add Councillor to... Councillor Harris. Councillor. No. I'll put the motion. Those in favour, please say aye. 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 <coughs> Those against, please say no. So that's all four. No one against. That is carried. We move on to 18.1. Disposal of interest in land at 66 Victoria Street, Youngtown. Somebody happy to move that? Happy to move it, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie and second to Councillor Spencer, I think. Do you wish to speak to it, Councillor McKenzie? Oh, look, I think the, the officer's report is uh, is very appropriate and it uh, spells out what's going on there. Ultimately, it's uh, an easement that we no longer require because the services already exist uh, on the uh, on the roadworks and uh, it certainly doesn't make any sense that council should profit from something that they never acquired. Thank you. Councillor Spencer? No, I'm just quite happy. I spoke to Shane about this. Uh, if we get the valuation, I'm quite for it. Thank you. Any other councillor wish to speak? No? I'll put the motion then. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Any against? 
So everybody's for. That is carried. We move on to 18.2, disposal of interesting land at 2 Talbot Road. Somebody happy to move that? I'm oh, happy to move it, Mayor. Councillor Cox, was it? Yep. Right. Is there a seconder? Happy to second it, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie, thank you. Do you wish to speak to Councillor Cox? No, other than to say common sense prevails once again. It's a useless sort of piece of land that doesn't go anywhere. And when I originally looked at it, I had it back to the front. So I'm glad I got my head around the right way again. <laughs> Councillor McKenzie. Just a practical solution to a problem. Thank you. Deputy Mayor. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Notwithstanding it being a practical solution to a problem, it's a very, very dangerous um, uh, corner and intersection. I just wonder um, what what negative impacts this could have on ensuring that um, the road, as we know it, and indeed the use, I'm, I'm suspecting none, but I, I guess just need to, to hear that, knowing that it is a very dangerous um, part of our road network. Uh, CEO or Shane? Hello. Uh, it'll, um, it'll have to be Robert. I think Robert's on the oh, line there, the Mayor, because um, I haven't had direct dealings with okay, this. Okay, fair one, enough. So. Robert? Um, I haven't um, uh, considered the, um, the that aspect of this agenda item, so um, I'm happy to, to look into that further and come back to councillors regarding that. Um. Deputy. Look, I, pro I probably know the answer to my own question. I just want to be sure that we can safeguard to ensure that any undertakings, um, you know, on the land that's disposed of do not uh, cause further site issues with regard to or site limitations with regard to what is a very dangerous corner. But I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to have that information provided post, um, and if need be, follow a different process. <laughs> yeah, well, look, look, I'll, I'll seek to, to get that information provided, Mayor. Um, well, it's obviously a traffic the, issue, which we're talking yeah. about here. I'd yeah. say. Mm. Am I am I right in saying though that the the, the the actual access exists now, and all we're doing is formalising something that already exists. So the issue would have been—it's it's, a—it's an issue now, uh, not something we're creating by doing this. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're not a adding any extra access. Um, we're just formalising what's currently there. Um, but I don't—I'm not aware whether the current access has been causing or adding to any issues. Okay. Thank you. Councillor Walker. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Yes, I wanted to ask a couple of questions too. It, it would appear from the map that the, the the land that we are selling is a long, skinny strip of land. Is that correct, Robert? Um, uh, actually, it's just um, there's two dealings in land that are taking place here. Yes. Uh, one is with regards to a garage that is encroaching over onto council land by some 12 and a half metres squared. Um, it's on the screen now, the picture. Yep. Yes, and, and here's a, a further diagram that, that clarifies the, um, the two portions of the land. The, the, the landmark number two, that's, that, will be, that will be sold and um, the title will be um, adhered to the, the property owner. Um, okay. Correct. But uh, the triangle at the other side, that will be, that will create a right of way. Um, it, so um, that will be an easement effectively mm -hmm. um, over, over council land. So there's two, two um, disposals of interest taking place here. Um, but n yeah, it's, it's not actually that really long, thin strip of land that's being sold. It's um, I can. I hope that diagram clarifies it. Well, bit. it's it's the strip of land adjacent to the garage. That's yes. Um, it, it's not in, along the entire boundary, so you'll we'll create a, a slight sort of L shape there. Yeah, I I certainly you know agree with Councillor 
uh, well, Deputy Mayor's um, comments that, of course, this is a busy intersection. It's a problematic intersection, and the council retaining uh, number two, um, Talbot Road, is of course um, going to be advantageous for you know future planning and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it wouldn't appear that the sale of, the sale of that small amount of land would make any difference to that. Um, the right of way, once it's granted, of course you know, has that potential to to have some encumbrance upon the council's uh, lot on that corner, um, yes. albeit on the Lawrence Vale Road side rather than the Talbot Road side. Um, once that right of way is granted, mm-hmm. it's, it, um, it, do the, does the council still have the ability to, you know, modify or uh, amend um, that you know, augment that piece of land in any way, with, as long as they don't um, interfere with the the right of way, I suppose. Yes, that's right. Council would still be able to um, to augment that right of way. Yeah. Um, it the grant of the right of way is not equivalent to ownership. Um, so the, the the law around easements is such that. Um, with the trees that are around that that driveway, there's quite a number of trees. the The owner of the adjacent land can't re- request council to to trim that back, but um, they can't. They'll they'll be responsible for maintaining those surrounding trees, um, but it doesn't stop council from doing um, such works as well. So, um, it's really a question of reasonableness um, as to the the use of that land between the, the parties. Um, that's what the um, the courts have looked at historically. What What is reasonable? What is reasonable use of that land? Mm. And and when the unit at the back was put in, uh, there, there, obviously they were using that as an access point anyway across council land. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, and would that continue if, if we weren't to grant the easement? Uh, I, unless council wished to um, to do something about that, then it would. Um, mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for that. And um, I, you know, do agree with uh, Deputy Mayor's uh, comments about the intersection. But it would appear that this doesn't really inter- interfere with the intersection at all. So thank you very much. Thank you, mm-hmm. Councillor Harris. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I just have a question in regard to the ownership of all of the title of Number Two Talbot Road. Um, I'm sort of surprised we're playing around with the title rather than selling it, perhaps all of it, to the resident and saying, "Well, you know, it's your property now." Or did we, in fact, want to keep that land so that um, we didn't see an, another unit or house appear right on the corner? Um, and I was just wondering if anyone's able to say what the long-term plan for that land is from it being in council ownership. Thank you. Robert, can you answer that? or um, I, I don't have much to add other than it, it seems to be the position of council that it, it's preferable that council maintains mm. that land at this point in time. So um, regarding future use that might have been flagged I'm I'm not into I can't really say probably to do with the intersection for traffic who knows Mm -hmm. I I think when it's the CEO here me I mean when the council has um, ownership of a site like this and and we know that um, there may be need potentially Mm -hmm. in the future to look at intersection works it it wouldn't make sense for us to dispose of that Um, but and, and really it's not wouldn't be an appropriate block for future development, which which would be why um, you know a, a neighbouring property would would want to would acquire it. So um, for, for me, it would be prudent for us to, to retain ownership just in the manner that we that we're proposing. So I support that. Thank you. Anything yeah. further, Councillor? Yeah, um, yeah, just another one on that. If um, if we were to develop a roundabout on that particular intersection, because it is something that has been proposed in the past. How does the right of way um, there, and let's say we wanted to use all of our land now to build the roundabout, uh, how would that go? Because we may choose to dig away 
and lower the land that he's currently using to gain access to the unit at the back um, as part of that roundabout development. And I'm just wondering what the right of way um, person's rights are if we then take it away because we've excavated it away to put around a road there instead. Uh, Robert or um, CEO? I I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure I can comment about... Uh, what, what I, I might take this off. Yeah, so I mean, effectively, if we approve a right-of-way, we would need to accommodate that um, with any um, redesign of the intersection. So if it's to be a roundabout, which I, you know, I'm not saying that there will be, I'm just saying if it were, <laughs> if, if it were to be, we would need to accommodate the, the, um, the right-of-way. Um, so it would have an impact potentially on, on what we could put there, so... Mm. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Anything further, Councillor Harris? No, that's all. Thank yeah. you. Councillor Walker. No, mm. Councillor Harris's hand up. So you're finished. Any other councillor wish to speak? Councillor Cox, you wish to close? No. You're muted. Councillor Cox, you're muted. I was, but I'm not now. <laughs> No, other than to say, if there is an access to a property and uh, council or state growth or whoever do roadworks, then it's their responsibility to reinstate that at a, uh, another place that's suitable to the owner. So the CEO's 100% right. Um, other than that, no, nothing to add. Thank you very much. I'll put the motion. Those in favour, say aye. 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 Any against to say no? No one against, so everybody's for, so that is carried unanimously. Move on to 18.3, Lonson Flood Authority quarterly report. Someone happy to move that? Happy to do so, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie, thank you. Is there a seconder? Councillor Spencer, thank you. Do you wish to speak to it, Councillor McKenzie? I think the matters are outlined in the report from Mr Priest and I'm comfortable with what as it stands. Thank you. Councillor Spencer? No, thanks. Uh, no other Deputy Mayor? I'm not no, sure. It comes and goes. Sorry, man. <laughs> so, no other speakers? Councillor McKenzie, you wish to close? No. I'll put the motion. Those in favour, please say aye. 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 Any against, please say no. So, no one's against, so that is carried by all. We're on to 19.1, review of the residential waste charges policy. We do have a small change here, which is significant in a word, but um, I think Rachel's going to explain that to us. Mayor, it's um, uh, Nathan here. I'm not, Rachel, are you there? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, I am sorry. Okay. I was just having I'll, trouble I'll turning it. off the mute. <laughs> Um, so upon viewing the agenda today, um, we've noticed that there is an additional amendment required to this policy. Uh, it's in section two and it's just the change of an or to an and to reflect the standard curbside service, which is for a 140 litre waste and a 240 litre recycling, not or. Yeah, and, okay. Yep, that's right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So... Someone happy to move the motion with that in it? Happy to do so, Mayor. Councillor McKenzie, thank you. Is there a seconder? Happy to second that, Mayor. Thank you, Councillor Harris. Do you wish to speak to it, Councillor McKenzie? Oh, just to say that you know the, the highlighted items or the underlined items just show the change in the policy. Uh, they make sense in the relationship of a... A person wanting to change their arrangements. Obviously, the 31st of August just means that it's clear on what the payment structure looks like in regard to that. And clearly, there's been a change in what we're doing with the CBD, uh, which required to be inserted into the policy. So I'm comfortable with that. And clearly, a change in title to the general manager of organisational services. And with that and in there, that makes complete sense. Um, I'm very happy to support it. Thank you. Councillor Harris? Uh, no, other than to say I believe the uh, new waste and recycling service in the CBD has been well, well received by those businesses operating in there. So, mm. Very good. Any other speakers? No. Councillor McKenzie, you wish to close? No, Matt. I'll put the motion. Those in favour, please say aye. 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 
Any against, please say no. So it's by all those present, that is carried. Can I have a motion now that we um, go into closed council? So moved. Seconded. Was that Councillor Harris and Councillor Cox? Did I get that yes. right? You did, yep. Well done. I'll put the motion those in favour that we go into closed council. Aye. Please aye. Say aye. 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 Any against? The ayes have it. That is carried. Thank you. We now go into closed council. Starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. 
Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm. Are we back online? The live stream is just resumed. Live stream. Good. Now we need a motion just to confirm. I haven't got a copy in front of me that we confirm that the um, decision is taken. I'm and happy to do so. Councillor McKenzie and the seconder. Happy to second, Mayor. Deputy Mayor, thank you. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Any against? So that's all four. That is carried. We can close the meeting. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And if... Councillor Walker, your hand's still up, but that's all right. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 1pm local time. Streaming is paused during breaks. Audio streaming of today's council meeting starts at 